What's up everybody? NBA free agency is now in full swing and teams are making sightings left and right. The Knicks got busy on day one of free agency, signing Evan Fortier to a four year $78 million deal. Fortier has been a quality player in the league for years. He's pretty underrated because he spent most of his career playing for the Orlando Magic. The first thing to know about Evan Fortier is don't Google his last name. Seriously, don't do it. You'll be disgusted. But on a serious note, Fortier is a really nice pickup and he's going to have a big impact on this Knicks team. So how good is Fortier and what exactly will he bring to the Knicks? Let's talk about it, but before we continue, please like the video and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can notify every time I upload a banger. Now let's get started. Before we break down his game, let's briefly look at his background. Fortier was drafted with the 20th pick in the 2012 draft by the Denver Nuggets. He didn't get much playing time in his first two years in Detroit, and in 2014, he was traded to the Magic. This is where Evan Fortier really made a name for himself because in Orlando, he became a really good scorer and shooter. In his six years in Orlando, Fortier averaged 16 points per game. He became a consistent scoring option for the team and was the second leading scorer of a Magic team that made the playoffs as recently as last year. This year, the Magic traded him because they realized it was time for a fresh rebuild. He was in the middle of a career year, averaging just under 20 points per game for the Magic before getting traded to Boston at the trade deadline. He got off to a rough start, but adapted into a nice supporting role behind Tatum and Brown in Boston, and now he's the newest member of the New York Knicks. It's also worth mentioning that 48 is currently playing for France in the Tokyo Olympics, where he's playing very well. He even scored 28 points and hit a clutch three-pointer to stun the United States in an 83-76 victory. So now that we've done our background, let's look at what Evan Fortier brings to the table. One of the biggest strengths of his game is his three-point shooting. He's a career 38% three-point shooter, so he's been a quality outside shooter throughout his nine years in the league. Fortier shot 3.6 catch-and-shoot three-pointers last year and made them at 42%. And he shot 3.1 pull-up three-point attempts per game last year and made them at 40%. So as we can see from his stats, Evan Fortier is deadly as a three-point shooter, both shooting off the catch and off the bounce. A lot of Fortier's pull-up threes come out of the pick and roll. If the defender goes under the screen, that's a big mistake because Fortier will knock it down. Fortier's high-level outside game will be a welcomed addition to a New York Knicks team that can use some more shooting. But where Fortier will really help the Knicks is his scoring. About half of his offense comes from the three-point line, but he can score pretty well on all three levels. He can break down defenders and get to the rim where he's a strong finisher. He shot 58% within five feet of the basket this year, which is pretty good. He's got a really nice floater that he likes to go to once he gets in the paint. One area of his game that he got better at this year was getting to the free throw line. In Orlando, he took a career high 4.7 free throw attempts a game it made them in at 80%. So Fortier is a pretty efficient scorer. Fortier's ability to score will be the biggest addition to this New York Knicks team. We saw in the playoffs how the Knicks desperately lacked shot creators. He's definitely an upgrade over Bullock, who the Hawks were able to use to effectively hide Trey Young on defense. Fortier is also a decent playmaker. He isn't a leader or anything, but he keeps his head up and he's pretty good at finding the wide open men within the flow of the offense. A lot of his assists comes from operating as a pick and roll ball handler. In this action, he draws a lot of defensive attention because he's so deadly as a pull up shooter, which allows him to whip the ball out to the roll man or to the perimeter. As far as his weaknesses, he's definitely a downgrade from Reggie Bullock defensively. Bullock was a pretty good defender that was often given the job of defending the other team's best player. Fortier is an average defender at best. His defensive rating this year was 115, which is slightly below the league's average defensive rating of 112. Fortier isn't very athletic, and he may be 6'7", but he has below average length with just a 6'7 wingspan. So even with his best effort, he'll never be a great defender. But while he's no showstopper on the defensive end, 
Fournier will still be a great addition because of what he can do on the offensive end. The Knicks desperately need another guy who can score and play make at a high level. And the Knicks should have him in the right role because ideally he's a third or fourth option on a contending team. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for me. Do you like the addition of Evan Fournier? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this breakdown. And have a great rest of your day.